Hello everyone, I am Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I filmed this video on my Twitch stream, so if you wanna um, come follow me over there so that way we can hang out while I'm filming videos or gaming or doing whatever it is that I'm uh, doing over there, make sure you follow me. Today, the Twitch stream and I, we watched and I blind reacted to a, a man who has a sexual relationship with balloons. It was a lot, so I decided that YouTube definitely needed to join us on that journey. So please subscribe and like this video and follow me over on my Twitch channel. I'm two years old and I'm addicted to balloons. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. <laughs> I love how, how kind that was as much as it could be like, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Like, that is like the nicest way to, to respond to someone being like, yeah, like I have like a sexual attraction to balloons. And now listen, we don't kink shame over here, but you got to admit that this is absolutely wild. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. <laughs> 50,000 balloons? How big is his house? I don't think I could fit 50,000 balloons in my condo. I feel so bad for laughing. But I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, <laughs> the, the transparent. It's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical one. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Did he really just be compared to liking round balloons to blondes versus brunettes? I mean, round balloons are more bougie. I'm going to give him that. If you go to a party and they have round balloons, you're like, damn, okay, this is going to be like a good little party like it's cute you know this is my balloon sanctuary i have uh magenta purple yellow blue red and clear and uh wherever I, I have a white one i don't have many white ones but i try to put the white ones in there like there's a white one over there and then i've got some orange i try to alternate it to keep all the colors you know uh, of the rainbow in there so the okay we uh, I, okay is he f***ing the balloons? That's what we all want to know, right? Like, I'm just going to be honest. Is he doing it with the balloons? One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's very delicate uh, and soft and, and smooth. For me, it's the bigger, the better. Mm. So, apparently, size does matter. Everyone, copy that? Okay. I sleep in my balloon room every night. Oh, we know. <laughs> we, we got that. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. Yeah, that's what I wanted also about. A sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. He's done this so much that he really knows how to work these balloons. Like hugging it or kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Yeah, but it's another human being. You love, like, having the intimate connection with another human being. Like, now this is kind of sad. Like, it's not the same, but okay. I mean, as long as it's consensual and everyone's safe, right? So this is a thing. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. But there's two groups. <laughs> groups. You got your poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. Wait, wait, wait. You got your non poppers. I'm a non popper. <laughs> he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull. I am hoping that production was like, yo, can we just call this rescuing balloons to add something to the show? Uh, misshapen, 
I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. Well, no. he does now. Freaking three million views. People that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. But she Whoa, doesn't. back up. Homeboy's got a wife. Okay, that is a complete game changer. I don't blame her. Oh no, I hope that they're okay. Like, I hope that their relationship's okay and that they are okay and they aren't like hurting or anything. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points that there is a, a, a problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, not hurting anybody. It's not dangerous. And I no, I, I understand that. Like, it's completely consensual. Like, you know, obviously, it, he seems to be doing it very safely and everything. Don't get me wrong. I have no desire to change. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. Okay. A little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. Really? Yeah. I heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons, maybe sexually? There's sexual overtones to it. Really? Yeah. What is it that gives you that sense? Is it a smell or a feel? It's all of it. It's all of it. It's the feel, the smell. The looks. The looks, and I don't want to go any further into that. Okay. Dude came in with the questions we all have. Like, I like I'm, I have to admit, I am curious. Like, does he just do a little flick of the wrist? You ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. You know, no. Nothing. If you feel like that you have to keep things hidden, especially something like this, there's obviously a problem. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. No. No. Definite no. Definite no. How is it affecting his marriage though? Like, is she cool with it? Cause she didn't want to come on the show, which I don't blame her, but she might be like, cool babe, go to your balloon room. Uh, how I've been doing it too long. Wow. So how long have you been doing, how many years all together do you have collecting these balloons? Oh, collecting them, I started when I was about eight. So you're 62 now, so that's what? 40? 40 years. years. Wow. wow, that's quite a, it's quite a bit of energy, time and energy. Do you spend a lot of time and energy during the day with them? No. Or just sometimes come up, go up and... Well, sometimes I'll rescue them, like, like at a, you know, car dealership. Then I'll spend a little time, you know, if they're still floating, I'll let them float until they fall. If they're already, you know, fallen, then I'll untie them and powder them, put them in a bag. When you, when you say powder, I'm more... Talcum powder. Talcum powder. That keeps them from, from sticking together. Okay. All right. All right. Do they, do they, do they ever go bad or anything? Oh, like yeah, if I don't take care of them. Oh, wait. So he has kept, like, every balloon he's ever had? Because we know he's not a popper. <laughs> does he have just, like, boxes of, like, talcum powdered balloons? So does he like, blow them up again? What's, what? So when you take care of them, it's involving talcum powder and... And desiccant in a seal mill bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll be showing you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've got some that's over 40 years old. Really? Yeah. Wow. Is it, does it cost a lot of money doing this? No, I don't think so. Uh, there's people that spend more money uh, buying guns. Have you ever thought about going... You know what? I'll give him that one. He is right. And, and, and talking to somebody about it. I don't have a problem. Right. Oh. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Okay. Give it up. Questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love and concern. And I don't want you to think that there's anything else in it. To go and, and, and talk to somebody. Sit. Okay. I've seen a psychologist before, and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? Well, I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm going to continue to love balloons because that's what makes me happy. 
Okay, that was a wild ride and I think that might be enough internet for me today. I realized I completely forgot to make an outro for this, so thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow me over on stream and click like and subscribe on this video. Bye!